Tommy, mm -hmm. we've just gone through the 2019 Chicago Auto Show, and there were quite a good number of very loud cars that came out of the Chicago Auto Show. Yeah, both in terms of color and probably exhaust note. So, today on the Fast Lane Now, we are going over the top five standout cars from the Chicago Auto Show. Now, there were a bunch of them, and we've covered pretty much everything over at tflcar.com and tfltruck.com, but in this list, we've got some kind of unusual ones and ones that maybe we haven't talked about as much. So of course we're gonna do the top five and then at the end of this video we'll have a bonus for you like always and I think Tommy we have to tell the fine folks which of these we would take home if we had the choice. Yeah, so number five on our list is what, Michael? The Dodge Challenger and Charger now in Sublime, uh, a classic color, returns to the Challenger and Charger lineup among uh, some other high impact colors as Dodge calls them including B5 Blue, Go Mango, F8 Green, Plum Crazy, and Tor Red. Uh, so we actually want to know which of these high impact colors, as they call them, is your favorite. Which one would you take, Tommy? Well, so the one that they were really pushing as brand new is Sublime. Exactly. Yeah. Which is, um, like the name suggests, a bright lime. It's loud. It is. There's nothing else particularly different. I mean, you can get this color on basically any of the SRT models for the Charger or Challenger, uh, Hellcats, 392 Scat Packs, or even the SXT base trim, you can get Sublime as a color. Yeah, so um, available in, in several different configurations, and it's good to see these kind of throwback colors back. Okay, what's our number four car? Number four is an interesting one. It's the Alfa Romeo 4C Spider Italia, which is a 15 unit limited production run. They're only gonna make 15 of these. And basically what it is, is it's an Alfa 4C Spider with Mizano blue paint, piano black air intakes, and a piano black rear diffuser, uh, and then a bunch of 4C Spider Italia badging uh, throughout some different graphics on the sides, kind of near the intakes. Uh, on the interior, there's more 4C Spider Italia logos, uh, and each car has an individually numbered plaque on the center console. But they're only making 15. They're only making 15 of them. Uh, what you get for that is basically just the paint and the appearance package and the little plaque, right? It still has a 1.7 liter turbocharged four cylinder that makes 237 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. But because the 4C Spider only weighs 2,300 pounds, it'll still do zero to 60 in 4.1 seconds, Tommy. The difficulty with the 4C Spider is it's, it's a very refined sports car, but it's almost too track oriented. Mm. So um, very light, but it's hard to use on a daily basis. It's a very low car, and it's expensive. So before <laughs> options, it starts at like 68 grand. Yeah, and this, uh, the Italia package, will actually cost you an additional $5,000 on top of the base price. So you're looking at uh, 4C Spider Italia uh, starting at like $72,500. But they're only making 15 of them, so if you want them, I don't know, maybe they're already sold out, but you're probably going to have to get in line soon. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to know the right people to get them. Or one maybe of these. not, actually, because they sell so few of these every <laughs> they year. They did sell like three 4Cs last month. <laughs> so, uh, number three on our list is the Lexus LC Inspiration Series. The LC, of course, being the ultimate Grand Tour Lexus, beautiful two door coupe design and the um, LC Inspiration Series brings on some additional cues. Yeah, it's actually just very yellow, Tommy. So this is a 100 unit limited production run. Once again, flare yellow paint on the exterior, very high intensity metallic yellow paint, standard 21 inch wheels and tires, plus a carbon fiber roof and lower grille insert. Uh, you also get some yellow interior trim, so there's yellow Alcantara door cards. Wow. And a lot of yellow stitching on the inside. Uh, otherwise though, pretty much the same engine, same powertrain as the standard model. Five liter naturally aspirated V8, which sounds sweet. Makes 471 horsepower and 398 pound-feet of torque. 10 speed automatic transmission and rear wheel drive. Pricing for the LC Inspiration Series, $107,235 of base price. But you better like yellow because this is it a is very yellow. extremely yellow model. Yeah. It, it looks pretty sporty in yellow though. I think um, it looks, I mean the LC is a beautiful car in my opinion uh, and the yellow paint certainly highlights a lot of the lines that you see on that car. Yep, for sure. Okay, number two on our list is a return of another classic, but this time in form. 
of uh, a Volkswagen, the Volkswagen Jetta GLI, which is kind of their sporty, racy, fast model. Exactly. So the seventh generation Jetta came out earlier this year. We were told a GLI was coming, and at Chicago, Volkswagen finally unveiled the high-performance Jetta, the GLI. Uh, so it has the same engine, same powertrain as the Golf GTI. It's a two-liter turbocharged four-cylinder. Makes 228 horsepower, 258 pound-feet of torque. You have two choices of transmission. Seven-speed dual clutch is optional, or you can go for the standard six-speed manual transmission. Still a manual available. Uh, some cool performance upgrades. You get the brakes from the Golf R, some big okay. brakes. Uh, a limited slip differential, mechanically limited slip, not this brake actuated nonsense. Uh, Multi-link rear suspension setup, so the normal Jetta has a torsion beam in the rear. They've changed the GLI to have a multi-link setup, which should be really good for handling. Uh, and then you also get some unique 18-inch wheels and a lot of fancy red accents everywhere. Now, we still don't know the price on the GLI, but it will be out this spring. And it's pretty cool because unlike um, some of the basic Jettas, you actually do get a lot of real performance upgrades. like that limited slip and the uh, actual rear suspension that's um, you know not just a solid beam. So it's it's a it's a really interesting combo. In the past the GLI has kind of always been like a D2 GTI. Yeah, this time they, they actually made it competitive in yeah. terms of its performance. Yeah, so this this one is really exciting because they really kind of went all out in terms of uh, the trim on this model. Indeed. And you know what we actually know that we we're going to have the chance to drive one at the end of March. So stay tuned for that video coming out in a little over a month, I guess. Yep, and the number one on our list is the 2019 Mazda Miata MX-5 30th Anniversary Edition. <laughs> okay, so they're gonna make 3,000 of this limited edition uh, Mazda Miata. It comes in racing orange, uh, that's the paint color. You get that same paint color on your brake calipers, on the seat trim, on the air vents, in the dash stitching. I mean, they just made everything orange on this Miata. Uh, you also get Ray's ZE40 RS30 forged aluminum wheels, uh, Recaro seats, Bilstein dampers if you get the manual wow. transmission option, uh, plus a Bose audio system, and you get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto because this is the new Miata and Mazda has finally updated it with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Under the hood, same engine, 181 horsepower, two liter four cylinder, and again, you have your choice of a manual or automatic transmission. The cost on this, $34,995 oh. for the manual soft top. Uh, if you get the RF, which is the hard top, it's $37,595. Wow. And if you want an automatic transmission, it'll cost 400 bucks on the soft top or 500 bucks on the retractable fastback. So this is like a nearing a $40,000 Miata here, and they're only gonna build 3,000 of them. So our resident fanboy, Zach, our producer, calls it the traffic cone, <laughs> because it is so it's orange. So orange. Um, but if orange is your thing, and you uh, want all the go fast goodies in your Miata, then definitely I think it's a cool trim. Definitely a cool trim, and also has a little badge that tells you what number out of 3,000 it is. Speaking of orange limited edition vehicles, you know who else did an orange limited edition? Volkswagen with the Mark V Golf GTI Fahrenheit. They there made 1,200 orange GTIs now, uh, in like 05 or something like that. Our bonus on this list is the Toyota TRD lineup. And this is interesting. So we not only got a new version of the Tacoma, I shouldn't say version, a new upgraded model of the 2020 Tacoma, which included lights and some um, grills and some little bits. But we also got a brand new truck, the uh, Sequoia TRD Pro, which is a Sequoia with off-road um, thingies on it, yeah, like it's suspension, got some, it's shocks got and some different wheels and yeah. different trim. Uh, but we also got, for the first time, a RAV4 TRD off-road, uh, which has yeah. got some, some specially off-road tuned uh, suspension and some different wheels and some some, tires. Yeah, slightly different graphics. Yeah. And we also got um, a, that's all of them. Yeah, that's, all. that's so, all of them. So we now have this huge TRD Pro lineup, right? It's four vehicles instead of three because you added the Sequoia. You still have the TRD Tundra, uh, TRD Pro Tundra, the TRD Pro 4Runner, and the TRD Pro Tacoma, as you mentioned. Yep. All those TRD Pros get some new stuff. Uh, new grills, new LED headlights, new black wheels. Uh, they all come with Apple CarPlay and Amazon Alexa. And for the first time in like any Toyota, Android Auto, which is a big deal. Uh, push button start, standard on TRD Pro models now, and a 360 degree top down camera called the Panoramic View Monitor and the Multi Terrain Monitor. There you go. Uh, so lots of upgrades for the TRD Pro lineup, and like you said, a couple other new TRD models like the TRD Off Road RAV4. RAV4. There you guys go. Those are the top five and a bonus 
Standout cars from the 2019 Chicago Auto Show. Tommy, before we let the people go, which one of these are you taking home? Uh, I, I pro probably, if I'm being honest, the one that interests me a lot is um, the Mazda is the most interesting. The little Miata. The little orange Miata. The little traffic cone, yeah. yeah I like all the, uh, the go fast goodies and I like uh, the limited trim and I like the color. So that's the one I would go for. You know, for me, actually, I'm not usually a fan of yellow cars, but that LC inspiration just, that does it for me. I think it looks awesome. Uh, the, the yellow paint is fantastic, and it's a limited edition, which is super cool. So I think that's the one for me. But we want to know which ones you guys are going to be trying to take home. So drop a comment down below. Tell us which of these standout cars you would like to have in your driveway. And for the Fastlane car, I'm Mike. And I'm Tommy. We'll be sure to give you more info from the Chicago Auto Show right here at tflcar.com and go back to tfltruck.com for the latest and greatest in truck news. This was a huge truck show. Indeed it was. We'll see you guys next time.